everyone, this is Allison from Fanshawe Pioneer Village, and today we are exploring the Harmer Sawmill. This building was built in 1885 in Fullerton. It used to be known as the Fullerton Mill. This mill is originally a combination of a grist and sawmill. Now we only do log sawing. You can see a log behind me here at our sawmill, um, as well as the Great Big Blade. Now, normally when you come to the Pioneer Village and you visit the sawmill, this building is only used for demonstration purposes. We do run this sawmill every once in a while, very rarely with very specialized trained volunteers, but most people never get to be on this side of the sawmill. Most of the time people are behind this plexiglass behind me. So when you're here at the Pioneer Village, you see the sawmill running. The reason we don't let you back here, besides the fact there is a giant saw, is that there is a lot of things to trip on. There are belts, there are rails for the logs to go be brought down. All kinds of equipment, moving things all the time, and it is crazy loud in here. But the other reason, and something that I find very interesting, is that underneath this saw, behind me, there is actually a giant pit where all of the sawdust goes and no one wants you to fall down in there. So we don't let people over on this side unless they are very specifically trained. So here at the Pioneer Village, when you come to see the sawmill running, or not see the sawmill running because it only runs very, very uh, rarely, what you see behind me is the door that the logs are brought in on. That little tram there is what the logs are rolled in on so that they can be put onto another tram that goes on another set of tracks here so that it can be run across the blade. It is then brought over to the opposite side so you see behind me, this is the tram. It generally gets wheeled down the sawmill on. And the log, uh, once it's cut, the boards get brought out that big, large barn door behind me. So this sawmill, it was, as mentioned, originally built in 1885. In 1918, a fire partially destroyed it. So it had to be rebuilt. It was rebuilt using a lot more metal at the time. So when you come to the Pioneer Village, you'll no notice that the roof is metal of this building. Um, that is time period appropriate. But in 1924, they changed the way that this sawmill operated. So originally it was uh, powered um, by uh, steam traction, but later it was changed to be driven by a large diesel engine. And that is our Rushton Hornsby engine, which I will show you in a moment. I just wanna finish the story first. So in 1924, that's when they replaced the sawmill. Uh, power source. The sawmill continued to run until 1964, so another 40 years it was in operation. And that's because sawmills were so vitally important. People were cutting down trees, but in order to use trees effectively, uh, you need to saw them into boards. So if you can see behind me, this building is built out of board. It is not made out of logs, it is made out of planks. So you need to saw your, your logs into planks in order to do that. So you would need to have your sawmill. A lot of people would have set up sawmills uh, along water sources because they could use water as a power source. You could also set them up in towns so that there was a way for you to move your boards that you've cut around easier, so maybe you have access to a railway, but you also had instances of mobile sawmills. So people would have steam traction engines and they would have a giant blade like this one that they would move around and saw people's logs right on their property so they didn't have to transport them from place to place, which makes it a lot easier. Now, some of you might remember a very interesting song called The Log Driver's Waltz. I will put a link to it below in the comments. Um, but The Log Driver's Waltz had to do with getting logs to a place from far away because your log driver would put them into the water and shove them down and they would dance on the, the logs in the song, not in actuality, sadly enough. So 
Let's go see what the Russian Hornsby engine looks like. I am going to hold you in front of me because I'm going to use my hands to make sure I get around safely. Because, as I mentioned, there are lots of things you can trip on in here. Psst. Everywhere. Though we are a pioneer village, when we do use the sawmill, we do require that our volunteers use modern safety equipment. So you will notice as we walk around that there are hard hats and things around because that is safe. So here behind me, it is very dark in here. I'm sorry. We have our Rushton Hornsby engine. As I mentioned, it was installed in 1924. So 40 years before the sawmill closed. This sawmill was donated to us uh, in 1979. It was moved to the village the following year and it took until 1983 for us to be able to open it to the public. Obviously, where I am standing now in the engine room, we do not let people come in here because these big belt wheels move real fast and we do not want anybody's hands to get stuck in them. It's just not safe. So that is why when you come to the Pioneer Village, every time you visit the sawmill, you're always on that other side of the plexiglass. This is not a necessarily a safe building. And we make sure that anybody who is coming in here has a lot of specialized training. I hope everybody has a fantastic day and we will see you all very soon. And we hope to see you at the Pioneer Village when we can. Bye.